You could go to Hawaii. You could live in Hawaii when you're 65, or you could go there 10 times in your 20s. Yes. I'm going to go there 10 times in my 20s. Yeah, dude. I don't, I, I don't uh, and when I'm 65, I'll probably want to be near my grandkids. Dude. Hopefully. We were talking earlier today. My parents came over and random, random conversations happened, but. Hawaiian one the, grandkids. One of the conversations was like, Catherine was saying that she went to this conference. Oh, whoa. She went to this conference. This Louis Armstrong conference. <laughs> As she went to this conference. <laughs> and said, what a wonderful world. <laughs> No, she went to this conference and this, this, this speaker was speaking basically about um, how how they lived basically like for three months at a time in all these different areas. Okay. Um, <laughs> and they just they just like traveled. They didn't have a home. They just lived in like they lived in Paris for three months and then they lived in Hawaii for three months. And I was like, we should do that, Catherine. And speak. I don't know what the job was. Oh, I don't think it was like I don't think it was she was speaking. I think it was. <laughs> something with her uh husband was doing something um but just a quick reminder we are on youtube.com if you guys are interested in that that's true um check us out on youtube um anyway i just thought it'd be really fun to uh it was weird <laughs> that you just said that out of nowhere yeah 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 uh yeah what's she look like you know <laughs> um <laughs> are we still in the mom daughter thing because i just thought of something else sure uh <laughs> the whole um i'm distracted wearing your and this is something I've not thought of. This is just straight off the top. I don't know how I feel about this actually, but the um, wearing your mother's wedding dress. That doesn't happen, does it? I don't know. I feel like you hear about it happening and I don't know how I feel about that either. Oh, yeah. Do we? What, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know either, man. I, uh, I think. Sorry, you seem distracted. I am a little distracted. Uh, we were talking about Naples and now we're talking about um <laughs> Nipples in wedding just wedding dresses. Um, check us out at youtube.com <laughs> slash ghost runners podcast. Um, I think that it's weird. I don't think it's weird that they wear their wedding dress. Yeah. I think it's, I think it would be, it would look bad though. Cause like that was 40 years ago fashion. If anything, it's a pretty good, uh, financial thing to do. Very true. The more I'm thinking about it. Cause like what else are you going to do with your wedding dress once you're done with it? Man. That we actually had this conversation yesterday with some of my friends about how like how different finances are viewed for a wedding girls versus guys. Cause yeah, you can spend a lot of money on a one, two thousand dollars on a wedding dress. You don't have to, you can buy one way cheaper. But yeah, it's literally for one day. And it's a very, very special day. I get it. But man, like anything else, anything else that you said that exact same principle for would sound ridiculous. Like like a two thousand dollar Super Bowl ticket. I don't, I don't think I'd spend that, you know, if That's you could crazy. be like, if you could be like, Oh, $500 Super Bowl ticket and you can get in the same Super Bowl. Okay. I don't think I'm going to spend the extra $1,500. Right. Yeah. 